Ethan, so uh, I wish we could be talking on different circumstances, but hey, man, uh, this is the card, the, the hands you've been dealt, the cards you've been given, and uh, it, it's a tough pill to swallow. But um, Thursday, they made the announcement that the Ohio State tournament would be canceled. Where were we at? Uh, I mean, I mean, it is what it is right now. I can't really control it. Um, I mean, coronavirus is just getting started, and I think it's just going to keep getting worse. That's what they're predicting so far. Uh, I knew they, they, there was no way we were going to have it. Even if they did reschedule, they have so many things going on in the Schoenstein that it's kind of hard to move those back and to fit the state tournament again. Um, I would love, I would love to have the opportunity, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad like last year I got all my college stuff out the way that way I wasn't banking on this year it kind of sucks for the people that were banking on this year to do something big that way they could, they could go to college get scholarships and stuff but uh having that out the way I, I'm not really stressing over like it would it would have been awesome to win a state title but I mean I got I have four more years to do something big do something to make my name even bigger than it is in our town um and bring something back home so I'm I'm upset that they're not doing it, but I have four more years to do something. So, okay. So, um, I, you're, you're over this, man. <laughs> wow. Not everybody else is over this, you know? And, you know, I talked to Mick Burnett. Uh, I want to say it was yesterday. I mean, I do the days are all running together. I can't even tell you what days I'm talking to people. I know that yeah. it's the same for you, right? Are the days kind of running together? Oh yeah. I mean, it feels like I'm waking up doing homework and then going back to bed and doing it all over again. Like it doesn't even seem like, like I'm like the, it's just days are just flying by like these two weeks of quarantine. There's just crazy. You're in a situation where obviously, I don't know. There's some people I talk to who still are able to, they do, they take the risk, I guess, of hanging out with friends. Um, what have you done in this two weeks? And um, is there, have you been able to do any training? You know, I talked to Patty Gallagher and he lives out here by me. We live in Geauga County and it's kind of like rural. There's not a lot going on. There's a lot of hills to run. He runs and he has a gym. What are you doing, Ethan? Uh, so right now, I mean, I'm riding bikes. Uh, we have a, a reservoir uh, just on the road. I can, I can drive down there, but like I run there or I just walk the trails that they have. Uh, I have a little 10 by 10 wrestling mat that I can do like uh, um, uh, stance of motion on. So like it's just little stuff, just trying to keep my body in shape. But I mean, there's you can only do so much with the resources you have. Um, so, I mean, it's just little conditioning stuff, just trying to keep your breath up, uh, your lungs as big as possible. But I mean, even if, uh, we did have to go back, it'd definitely be difficult to get back in a hundred percent wrestling shape where we were. You know, you're trying to peak for that tournament. You were runner up last year. You were runner up at 60 last year, weren't you? Yeah. 160. So now you're a 170. I didn't, you didn't particularly look like a big, uh, 70 pounder to me. Was weight ever an issue for you even after this quarantine? Uh, uh, getting down there at first was. Uh, it was definitely like every going down any weight is kind of hard. Um, the first 10 pounds are easy, and then after that, it gets kind of difficult. But once I got down there, I kind of cruised. I was able to eat like uh, regular meals. Uh, obviously not full regular meals, but um, but yeah, my, my upper body isn't big. It's my lower body, like my legs and stuff. They're, they're bigger than usual my coaches always make fun of me call me kim k uh it's kind of funny kim k. Uh, what's, what's kim k tell me like what's that about tell uh i've always grown up with a, a bigger rear end i guess you could say <laughs> uh and uh they they always make fun of me they always call me kim k so uh that's where all my weight is i mean i'm sure if i didn't have that i'd be like 140 150 pounds <laughs> uh which I, I would love to be i mean uh but i mean it is what it is uh <laughs> Weight was really wasn't an issue in these last two weeks of uh, trying to maintain weight until we get that final uh, go or not go. It, I was like seven or eight over, which is not terrible. I could get make that in a few days. So yeah. So weight wasn't an issue. Um, as far as weight, you know, you're not. I I had you. It was you and Jax Leonard were the the one two guy at the weight, and he's a three time state placer. Are you a two time state placer? Uh. Yeah, I play sophomore and junior year. Yeah, so you're two time placer. He's a three time placer. That was one of those finals. Were you guys in the same half bracket? I, you were away from each other, weren't you? Uh, we met in the 
semi quarters semis no th i'm saying <laughs> this year when they drew the bracket oh, out when yeah we, we were on opposite sides him and hayden daniels were on the opposite side and then i was with uh the kid that beat josh leonard in the semis okay for quarters yeah okay so you would have actually been away from him in the bracket though yeah so that was one where i mean obviously we don't we don't know what it's just not going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. But that was one where I was like, I'd like to see this final or semifinal, whatever it was going to be. I want to see that match because I saw him at Mommy Bay. I obviously saw you a couple of different times. Um, <laughs> he looked really good at the Mommy Bay. I mean, he crushed he crushed the guys I saw him wrestle. And um, when I saw you, man, you looked really good at the Sandusky Bay Conference. You are slick, by the way. You are Thank slick. You. I uh, cut up some of your highlights. That... You got some slick stuff. I like your cross ankle pick. I think you're like little low. You do like a little low swing single. You got a lot of different attacks, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, just like you said, I'm not like a, a bigger 70. So I always, I always rely on speed and slickness and just trying to out, uh, like skill them. Uh, my, my coaches always tell me my, my toolbox is just large. And like, I've, I have so many moves that like, I don't really frequently hit, but I just have them in there just in case I need them. And, like every once in a while I'll pull one out. And uh, I mean, I, I, I just work on just being slick. I mean, being fast, being just out, out, out maneuvering them instead of out strength. Like, uh, yeah. You got a really good duck under too. That was another thing I saw you hit. I think I saw you do it just about everything you can do in, at the Sandusky Bay tournament. You know, obviously I saw you in the, the dual meet, um, you're beating up on Wyatt, and then I, I think I used one of the highlights. I think I put one of the highlights yeah, out the hyper. Yeah, it was that knee pick. Yeah, it was beautiful. But man, you just got like such a like I'm saying a broad spectrum, a large toolbox of of attacks, right? A lot, a yeah. lot in your arsenal. But um, tell me about U Penn. Tell me about U Penn. What are they predicting you as? You know, you you made it through the the admissions process at U Penn. That's how, what is that like? Tell tell everybody what it's like getting into an Ivy League school, Ethan. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, even being recruited, you're not guaranteed us like getting accepted. That's kind of one of the things that I kind of liked about an Ivy league is like, you still have to work to get those things. Like you, you're not, you, you can't be like, like Ohio state where they have people who are just like, eh, in uh, scholastics and like, they still get in. Like you have to have good grades. You have to score good on your ACT and everything. You have to keep up on your grades once you get accepted. So being accepted was definitely like it's an awesome feeling, uh, especially to an Ivy League. Uh, just the chance to get that education that no one else can give. Uh, it's amazing. It sets up my future for the rest of my life. Uh, just with this. Uh, it's just a, it's a blessing, really. It's awesome. OK, so I just really quick on Ohio State. I don't know if you tried to get into Ohio State. It's really hard to get into Ohio State. Did you know True. that? It is. Dude, it is. like, I listen, we have this kid who, um, he's one of our servers over here at this diner we go to. He got a 32 on the ACT yeah. and at a 3.9 GPA here at Kenston. Because we mm -hmm. live, you guys wrestled in this Kenston tournament, right? Uh, My sophomore yeah. and freshman year. I live three miles from Kenston. So I live over that. Now do you have, like, a better idea where I live? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. So this kid... And he was on the wrestling team at Kenston. You actually might have wrestled the kid. Um, but he was like an average wrestler. I think he made the district tournament for Kenston. Got a 32 on the ACT at a 3.9 GPA. He yeah. had to go to the Lima Branch campus for a year. Yeah, that's crazy. But I think he was in engineering, which yeah. is even more competitive at Ohio State. But like Ohio State, they're different though. I will say that. Like yeah. Penn and I, Ohio State are very different. But Ohio yeah. State's gotten so competitive. Because, yeah, it's you know, crazy. it's the flagship university of Ohio, just like yeah. Michigan's, you know, Michigan and Michigan state are pretty competitive yeah. to get into now, but, but yeah, like it's a very different process, but Ohio state's get it. It's hard to get into. Yeah. If you're not I, a student over athlete. Over the years, they've definitely changed for sure. Yeah. If you're not a student athlete, Ohio state is like very hard to get into. Yeah. If you're a student yeah. athlete, like you're saying, it's, it's a lot more relaxed. I will say that. Yeah. But yeah. it's not Penn. Oh yeah. It's not Penn. Um, in the whole process, what was the biggest thing um, when the forks were in the road there, whether it was going to be you were going to stay in Ohio or you're going to go into the Mid-American Conference, wherever you were going to go? Because I think you're a Big Ten guy, but EIWA is obviously pretty comparable. Um, maybe not the dual meet schedule, but that tournament's yeah. a meat grinder. Where was the fork in the road for you that you decided you were going to be an Ivy League guy, Ethan? Uh, I mean, my goal like ever since I was a kid was – to give back to my mom and my dad for everything they've done for me. 
and uh, just the education that I could get at an Ivy League uh, can just set up, set up my future and make a make a lot of money and give back to my parents and uh, give back to our community. Hopefully, when I'm uh, able enough and financially stable enough, uh, I mean, I just want to get. I don't want to say rich, but rich enough as fast as possible as I can so I can give back to the people that gave to me when I was a kid. Um, just because, I mean, I wouldn't be here with everything that they've done for me. So I want to give back to them and like just give them a big thank you pretty much. Okay, so let's just talk about Norwalk, Ohio. Norwalk, Ohio has a lot of industry, a lot of machine shops. You are the truckers. You guys yeah. have you have the, the, the drag strip there, right? Yeah. Can you hear it from where you live? Uh, when it's, uh, like middle of, of the summer and the dragsters, like the big jet engine are going off. Yeah. You can definitely hear it. So, you know, we're from an area I'm from, uh, you know, an area Oak Harbor's just East of Toledo. You're from Norwalk and it's automotive industry based where we're from Sandusky, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, young, they call yeah. it the rust belt. If you didn't know that, um, mm-hmm. you come from a blue collar, tough community, but some of the all time greats in, in college wrestling are from your community. The Stevers are from Norwalk, Ohio. Yeah. Do you remember growing up, kind of following their high school and their their college careers? Uh, yeah. Uh, even uh, I think it was either our seventh or eighth grade year on their last. Uh, it was their last dual meet. I think it was with Indiana. They they hosted it at our high school. It was at Norwalk because uh-huh. Monroeville wasn't big enough. No. Yeah. Not not even close. I mean, both both of our on the left, the right, and the mezzanine was filled with people, and we had chairs on the on the floor too. I mean, it, it was jam-packed like it was it was ridiculous like just seeing them grow up and uh just hearing their stories and stuff and their work ethic and uh just being from small town like Norwalk, ohio it's it's pretty crazy you know like something like that that that's what i'm talking about though like tom ryan does such a great job of keeping really good ohio talent like yourself in ohio how do you how do you go to the palestra and decide, hey, I'm going to go to Philadelphia. I'm not going to go to Columbus. I don't even know if they're recruiting you or not. That's not that's irrelevant to me. I don't even <laughs> care about that. But that's, yeah. that's the big thing Ohio State has over a lot of people. He yeah. does those dual meets, and they are like, I don't know, like, how are you not awestruck by that dual meet? Were you there as a seventh grader or eighth grader? Were you yeah. there? Uh, yeah, I was there. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, my eyes were huge. My uh, my aspirations were like crazy like i just i wanted that feeling but like uh i mean i wasn't getting the looks for that i mean which is fine i mean the opportunity i'm gonna have is uh, just as good if not better um but i mean just just uh i mean being away from home is gonna be hard but like learning how to deal with my own problems on my own uh at an earlier age i think is gonna be better for me upenn it's in philadelphia you know it's founded by uh benjamin franklin I think there's like 17 or 18 statues of Ben Franklin where you can go on a park bench and sit on his lap. There's statues yeah. like like there's Ben Franklin's everywhere on the campus. If you didn't notice, right? Yeah, uh, just walking down the streets, there's a there's a big statue of him. Yeah. So so you know it's one of the the eight Ivy League schools. Um, and you know for a lot of people, not a lot of people from Norwalk are going there. Not not a ton <laughs> of truckers are going to to Cornell, Penn. Columbia, Brown, Harvard, yeah. Yale, Princeton, Dartmouth, you're, they're not going there, right? And a lot of kids from uh, Norwalk aren't going to the service academies. Were those on the, the table for you? Were service academies something you were thinking about? Uh, I got a I got a letter from West Point. Um, I got looked at by Columbia. Uh, I never really got looked by Cornell or like Princeton or all of them, but uh, those were those were like the the like big three that. Uh, that have a really good like education and stuff that looked at me. Yeah. What, what were the other two that West point and Cornell, who were the other ones? I missed it. Columbia. 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 Okay. So to New York city, Manhattan. Yeah. Do you, you want to go big? You, you're, you're going opposite of, of Norwalk, Ohio, man. You were, you were, you were dreaming big, huh? Yeah, I am. I got, I have big goals and, uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not stopping for anyone. I, I got things to accomplish in life, you know? Okay, so I don't, if you tell me you're going to Penn to become a teacher and you want to get, if you want to make a bunch of money, you're going into the no. wrong thing. I can tell you personally. Um, yeah. What What's your major going to be at Penn, Ethan? Uh, I'm going to major in logic, information, and computation, and I'm going to minor in computer science. What I don't even know what that first major. I, tell me what that first thing is. What is uh, that again? Say it again. Logic, information, and computation. 
Ethan, it's, what is uh, that? I don't know what that is. What what is that, Ethan? <laughs> it's basically uh it's just like like it's basically computer science. I'll just leave it like that. Like you're just you're doing all like the it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> well, so you're you're basically dealing with science. with computers and developing computers yeah. and are you doing logistics with computers? I am asking, I don't know. Pretty much, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really big right now. If you look at what's going on right now, that is something where that's an yeah, essential I mean, job. Yeah, I uh, I want to try to get uh, at least a few classes in the Wharton uh, Business College because I mean that just that'll look great on anyone's resume. Um, but uh, my uh, stepdad was talking about uh, a huge uh, a job that I could get. I forget what it's called, but it's within like a uh, computer management and within uh, like a hospitals and stuff which i think will be cool like being around people who you can help and stuff uh but uh i mean just uh the classes i'll be taking and hopefully getting a class or two and the uh, one uh business the like college of business uh that'd be awesome okay so you're obviously talking about managing money when you talk about wharton wharton's one of the you know it goes back and forth as being the number one uh business college in the world um and obviously you're thinking yeah i want to give back a bunch to, to norwalk uh do you stay on the East Coast? Do you move back to Ohio? Do you go to the West Coast? What do you do after you graduate from UPenn? Uh, so one of the cool things they do is uh, every year they take a, or not everywhere, maybe every other year, um, they take a trip. They always go down to California for uh, like a dual meet or something. And uh, they take a trip in uh, Silicon Valley and they try to like hook up their wrestlers with uh, like interns and stuff. So, I mean, if I could get an intern in California, that'd be awesome. And then if not, I'm sure I could get an intern in Philadelphia and then uh, just start there and then bring back, uh, come back to Ohio and start something there. I mean, I don't really know. Um, I mean, op the opportunities are there. I just have to choose them and get the right ones. Have you traveled at all as far as like you're from Norwalk, Ohio? Have you been able to go to California? Have you been up to New York City? Have you been to be able to go Florida even? Have you gone or traveled to the United States even? Uh, when I was a kid, my dad was in the military. Uh, we lived in California and Virginia. Um, but, uh, that was like when I was like two, three, four, five, I don't remember a lot of it, but some of it I do. I remember like, yeah, just some of my kid, like childhood and stuff, uh, some of the houses I lived in, but, uh, but yeah, I, I haven't really been able to since I've been like older and stuff just cause we're so involved with sports all year round. And, uh, 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 the grind doesn't stop, I guess. Uh, so, um, not lately, but when I was a kid, yeah. What other sports do you pay, play, Ethan? Uh, I did football, and then I wrestled, and then I did. I played baseball one year, but I not that I didn't like it. I just focused on wrestling after that. Football. How the truckers do in football? Uh, our first few years, uh, we had a uh, not a very good coaching staff. Uh, not everyone was like bought in, I guess. Um, so we didn't do very good. I think we had three and seven both years. And then junior year, uh, Todd Fox, uh, came in our program and we made it to the final four. So it wasn't even that the fact that we didn't have the players, just the coaching staff. So it was awesome to get there. Uh, and then senior year, we, uh, made it to elite eight uh, and then we lost. Um, so we, we had, uh, we definitely turned around the program. Uh, it, we had a, our, our senior class was really like, uh, it was a tough, like we, we, we pretty much filled every spot on both sides of the ball. Um, so next year is going to be interesting for them, but I'm, I'm sure they'll be okay. Did Phillips and Maloney also play on the Norwalk football team? Oh yeah. Uh, Gabe was our, uh, guard and defensive end. He was, uh, I think first team SBC and then Alec was a monster at middle linebacker. Uh, I thought he killed, uh, Angelo Gross from uh, Mansfield, I literally thought he killed him. Like, he hit him so hard. He Angelo Gross was on the ground for probably eight seconds, and the ball flew, I can't even tell you. Um, and he was first-team SBC. Uh, I think he got some recognition within the state. He's a, a, he's a truck, literally. What did you play? Uh, I was strong safety. So um, yeah. how did you guys do in the SBC this year? Because I know Clyde was 6-4. and four. Were you one of their losses? Were you one of those four losses? Oh, uh, no. We beat them in uh, overtime. Yeah, you beat them. I'm saying oh, yeah, you yeah, were yeah, one yeah, of their yeah. four losses. Yeah, yeah. And then were they the division up from you guys? They won Division three. Were you guys Division two, or were you Division three? We So last year we were 
both Division Three, and then this year they dropped to Division Four. Okay, so they won Division Four, but they yeah. were six and four. Yeah, and they won eleven and four. Yeah, and you beat them in overtime this year. Yep, that's crazy. Your league is ridiculous. When I came yeah, to our- that Sandusky Bay Conference tournament, man, your guys' this league is just like it yeah. is. Because I I won the SBC when it was eight teams. Right, mm-hmm. and it was tough to win when it was eight teams. My brother yeah. Tate, my brother Tate was a state champ. He never won the SBC. Yeah, he actually well, lost he- to Connor Whalen of St. Mary's in the finals. He was beating him by fourteen points, going to take him down, and the guy threw like a like a weak headlock. And my brother yeah. Tate's not very smart, and <laughs> got pinned. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. it was crazy. He was about to tuck fall him with the next takedown, and he got. He got. I think we both got beat up that night by our dad. He was pretty mad about it. He didn't really beat us up. Yeah, he was just. He was just like, "What is wrong with you?" Uh, yeah. And then I, I got. I got it. pinned the next match for third and fourth place. We were back to back. We got pinned. Wow. <laughs> My dad was so mad. He oh, didn't care that we lost. He just thought our effort wasn't very good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, that league is really, and, and the league's really good at everything. Only thing I don't like about that league is how they did their track meet. Yeah, it's oh, well, there's so many teams. It's kind of hard to. Have you seen how they did the track track. meet? The Sandusky Bay Conference does three. It they do, what is it? Yeah. The river, the bay, and the. I I don't know, but I think they river, split bay, it up. and lake. I think <laughs> no. right. I I think they split it up in a, on events. No, no, I'm telling you, Tiffin, Calvert, Hopewell, Loudon, Saint really? Mary, Saint Joe, they're the bottom one. And then all you guys, Norwalk, Clyde, Columbian, yes. whatever, you know, the four, the eight big schools, and then the eight little yeah. middle schools, Oak Harbor, whoever else, they have different heats. So if you win the SB, there's three SBC champions in the 100 meters. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Did you know oh. that? I did not know that, no. So somebody tells you they won the SBC in track, don't get too excited about it because there were two other champions, <laughs> yeah. the same thing. Like when I ran in yeah. the SBC, it was just you know it was just eight teams, and uh-huh. we won the four by eight, and I think I was runner up in the mile, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like uh, now there's three champs if you didn't know that. So and this, you do three divisions in football too, don't you? Uh, no, yes, yeah, you do. Yes, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, and then it's just like yep. I think. Perkins won the middle division, but Edison won the overall tournament this year in the wrestling. Yeah, so, yeah. We have, like, three – I think we have three like three divisions, but they have one that's overall, I think. Yeah, which Edison won. So let's, yeah. just, let's talk Makes about sense. that. Let's talk about that. The biggest story this year is no state tournament. The Two, two of the five big stories for me is obviously St. Ed's and Illyria. They don't get to battle out in, in, with Brexville and then um, Wadsworth. The Division One was going to be a barn burn. Division yeah, Two, you guys have a chance to get your first champ, first state champ. Norwalk get their first state champ since like 1975. You were yeah, going to get it. One of you years. three guys was going to win. Yeah, I'm saying that. You don't have to. Say, I'm saying it for you. Yeah, Th- that was one of my big stories. And then obviously Edison, which is your neighboring school. Your school districts touch, you they don't get a chance to win the Division Three title, which I think they were going to win by 20, 30 points, right? So those yeah. are the kind of big stories for me in the state tournament. And there's a bunch of seniors like yourself who are runner-up, multiple-time placers, who are not going to get to yeah. see, you know, win titles this year. But what do you think about Norwalk and, and, and how it finished for you guys? And it would have been a historic year with the state tournament. Yeah, uh, I mean – just having that, uh, I call it the Norwalk curse. Last year, I took second at uh, state, and I took second at nationals. I think it's there's something there's something weird with Norwalk getting this close, and then just in the finals, something just comes up. Um, and I was hoping that this year was going to be the last year that uh, it was going to be in place, and uh, me, Gabe, or Alec were going to uh, break that curse, and uh, just hopefully Norwalk would just start pouring out. Uh, state champions um i mean obviously it comes also comes with hard work and work ethic and just dedication but uh it, there's always just been something that it, they we just come up short somehow some way and um 
I thought for sure, like this year, we'd break that curse and uh, everything would just start falling into place for us. Everybody's in the same boat. Edison's in the same boat as you. You know, Edison's not going to bring a team title back. I think they would have had a couple individual champs. Um, probably, you know, Herms could have won at 106. Uh, you know, Barnett could win. They had a bunch of guys who could win, man. They had a, they had three or four guys who could win. You guys oh, yeah. obviously had three guys who could win. Does Misery Love Company, are you guys at least able to comfort one another that you weren't able to have the historic runs you were probably going to have? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were all hit hard uh, when we first got the news. Um, but, I mean, as time has, time has passed, like, we kind of appreciate the times that we had with each other. Um, just saying, like, because uh, the stuff we have done, even if the three of us get a state championship or not, have, go down the history books and for Norwalk. I mean, we're probably individually, we're probably one of the best uh, wrestlers or ath- all around athletes football and wrestling to go through Norwalk and to do it at the same time. The three of us is just crazy. Um, I don't think it'll happen ever again. I mean, I hope it does. I hope someone, I mean, I think I broke six or seven records on our, at our school and I hope someone breaks them. I mean, it might be a while, but I, I really do hope someone uh, just comes in our program and just blows everything out of water and just, like uh, just stomp through the straight state tournament and stuff. And um, I mean, I hope some, some, a group of people can do the things that we have done, but we definitely have made history for our school. Um, it's, it's an amazing accomplishment that what we have done. I mean, you can't uh, down yourself just because you didn't get to wrestle last year in the state tournament. Do you guys train with the Edison guys at the barn? Do you guys train out there at the, the Bernat's barn? Uh, some, uh, uh, we don't really go to the barn and the season we go to their, uh, their, uh, they just got a new wrestling room. It's oh. really, really, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Right, don't they? they? Yeah. It's brand yeah. new, isn't it? Yeah. It's literally, it's, I mean, I think last year they just got it done completely near the end, um, of the barn. Yeah. Wow, man. That, that's so crazy. But what weight are they uh, – what are you predicting? Are you a 57, 65, 74? What are they picking you at Penn? What are they trying to uh, – They said 74, but I, I'm thinking – I mean, I've never had a, a real, like, nutrition guide. Uh, um, um, so I think if I really tried, I could make 65 if they needed me to. But uh, either 65 or 74, I think, is where I'm going to go. It sounds like you're going to have to do a lot more squats and deadlifts to put on some weight this, this summer. Put it in there. Pack it in down the, down low. You're bottom heavy, right? I lost you, Ethan. Did you hear me? Yeah. Did you yeah. hear that? You're going to have to, you're going to, have to yeah. pack it in, the, the squats and the cleans. Deadlifts. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. You want to be a 74, yeah. right? Uh, we'll see, yeah. I mean... I'm I'm sure they'll break me down and bulk me up like uh, all the college athletes are. Awesome, man. Uh, hey, is there anything you got for me before we get off here, dude? You got you got anything else for me, Ethan? Uh, I mean, not really. Um, I'm I'm thankful for the interview. Um, especially school athletes. Um, definitely a pleasure. Um, I'm glad I. Uh, and one of the people that came to mind for you, um, that's awesome. Bryce, so, uh, and I thank you very much for that. Awesome, man. Well, hey, listen, hold on. I'm going to cut this live interview. I'm going to cut this tape. Stick around real quick. Don't hang up on me, all right? All right, yep. Thanks for the time, Ethan. Yep, thank you.